Okay, I've gone ahead and done something stupid. I went ahead and grabbed a weight balance to check the weight of the arms. Uh, the heavy arms, the sand rock, and the wing. And I can absolutely confirm that the heavy arms does live up to its name. What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the high grade after colony Gundam heavy arms from new mobile report Gundam Wing. Now, I've been waiting for a modern 144 scale kit for the heavy arms for quite some time, but yeah, sure, I could have picked up the high grade fighting action heavy arms EW version, but that thing deserves a modern refurbishment. Whether or not it's the high grade or a real grade, I don't care. But for now, we do have the TV version right here, and it does look amazing. Now, the proportions are spot on. The colors are spot on. It looks as though it just jumped right out of the line art. But to fill in for those smaller details, stickers are used. So apart from the eyes and the sensors on the front and back of the head, you do have the Gundam vents on the chest over here. It does look like a Gundam face, doesn't it? These four triangles are molded with protruding parts, so to put a sticker over it is not really the best idea. So yeah, these stickers don't look the best. And of course you do have the yellow vents right underneath them, which need to fold over surfaces, but I don't see any signs of peeling off that easily. But you're also supposed to have some black ones for the black details on the waist skirts, but I just didn't use them because I can easily go in with a pad on a marker, but I do need to touch up on the paint because it looks like it's starting to scrape off. And of course we do have the grey vents over here, they are stickers as well. They don't really fit in the best because you do see a gap over here where the stickers are supposed to maybe overlap, just join each other. And of course we do have spots on the ankle armor, so four in total. All in all, these stickers are used to replicate these minute details, so I would not complain about it too much, but the ones on the chest do not look the best. I feel like they could have done with maybe a plastic piece going from underneath the hatch. But apart from that, this thing does look imposing and generally good. Articulation on this thing, it's using the sand rocks frame so we should know what to expect. Double ball jointed head, of course you can do the chicken neck. The arms, they can swivel forwards with the polycap, they can rotate on the ball joint. The arms, they cannot go out too far because of the vent on the sides of the shoulder so yeah you aren't gonna get any acrobatic poses from when Troa was being a clown. They can rotate above the elbow, bend at the elbow at two joints, this is very very good. And the ball jointed wrists, well they don't stay on the best, but they're not as bad as the ones that are on my Tri-H Magnum, so that's good. Plus you need to remove the left hand for putting on the Gatling gun anyway, so yeah it can fall off all at once. And the ball joints in the waist can provide it with a rotation and some crunches, but no crunches in the actual stomach part. Front skirts you can separate them, side skirts can move and rotate on the body cap. The back skirt can move, yeah, thank you. Thanks Bandai for using the sand rocks frame. And of course, the torso can tug the back skirt away from the legs as well. And the legs can have a drop down mechanic that the Geminus failed to even stabilize. So the legs can flip forward and back just like that. And the legs can go forwards, go backwards, go outwards, not quite all the way. Rotation at the hip and a double jointed knee that neither looks too good nor too bad, so considerable. The ankle guards are actually mounted onto the side ball joint, just like the older kits. And the feet can go forwards and back on the top joint and the ball joint, go side to side, rotate a little bit and then the toe can point down a little bit. So all in all, articulation on the heavy arms, well, the lower body could have used a little bit more, especially in the knees, but with all the articulation on this kit, it is really commendable. Accessories. So first of all, we have the Swiss Army Knife on the arm. Just flip it out like that. I feel like it's still a really stupid design to have the blade facing inwards instead of outwards, but eh, what could you do? You can, of course, reverse the blade when you're building it, so that's pretty good. And then you do have the beam gatling gun. Of course you do have a handle over here that you can swivel out, and the barrel can technically rotate, but 
it's not going to rotate perpetually because, yet again, this kit does not come with metal bearings. So, if you want to store it, the adapter is already attached onto the backpack, so you plug the hole on top of the Gatling gun right into the backpack over here, the backpack adapter, which is firmly stored. Technically, the adapter can work on the other side of the backpack because it does have a hole as well, but yeah, the shield will clash against the shoulder if it is put on in the reverse side. So what you want to do if you want it to use the gun is to take off the manipulator and then put it in like that. And because of the Swiss Army knife, of course, it cannot be plugged onto the right. And if you want some extra support, the handle can come out and allow for the other hand to hold onto the beam Gatling gun and act as support. So here we have it. Finally, we execute the full open attack. So let me get this off. First of all, we do have the hatches on the shoulders to reveal some missiles. And then we do have the Gundam face that we need to split right down the chest to reveal Gatling guns. And then we do have some missile pods on the legs over here. So we can open up all of the hatches to execute the full open attack. But the hatches are not gray underneath. So if you are anal about that, you should definitely go ahead and paint the insides of the hatches just to give it that slight bit of anime accuracy. And to top it all off, you do get some open hands over here that are from the sandrock frame. And there are some thumbs up holding hands that it didn't bother to cut out because the heavy arms doesn't hold any handheld weapons. Well, technically the beam saber from the wing on them, but yeah, you know what I mean. So in terms of leftover parts, you do get the leftover joints that were on the sand rocks plate. Yes, despite these plates being named Gundam Wing Frame, these are still left over. And stupidly enough, I didn't read the instruction manual initially, so I cut the leftover feet joints out. So yeah, you do have quite a bit of extra parts for your Gundam Sandrock. For comparisons, of course, I have to bring in the other Wing Gundam Gundams. So of course, you have the Wing Gundam and the Gundam Sandrock. So yeah, putting all three together, we are only missing the Shenlong and the Death Scythe. So we are almost there, maybe a year or two, then we'll get the full team. And let's put it up against the RX-7802 Gundam right here. Not that big of a height difference, but still the Heavy Arms is petite looking when compared to the normal Gundam. So that's going to wrap it up for the Heavy Arms review. Sure, the color separation on the chest hatches could have been done with a bit of an improvement, but overall, this kit has what it needs. Good articulation, good looks, and the ability to do the full open attack. But the thought that Bandai would be reissuing this kit, doing the Heavy Arms Kai in a P Bandai form, is leaving a bit of a sour taste in my mouth, but regardless, I would still be recommending this kit and giving it an 8 out of 10 so i would absolutely recommend you guys to go ahead and pick up the heavy arms especially if you're building your gundam wing collection it might still be a while before we get a modern 120.44 scale kit of the ew version of the heavy arms kai but i will settle for this for now so that's gonna wrap it up for me thank you all so much for watching this video if you did like it please be sure to drop a like comment and also subscribe for more gunplay reviews gunplay news and all that kind of stuff subscribe to the feature channels on my channel page if you haven't and i'll see you all in the next video peace